Hi everyone, Brenda Gustin here, and we're on week number three, human biology. We're going to be talking about cells this week. Before I talk about what's going on with week three, I want to make a comment about week one. Week one materials were due at the end of week one, at this, uh, at, on the Sunday at, at a minute before midnight on the end of week one. Um, remember that with all the weeks, if you complete the assignments late, within a week of the due date, you'll get half credit. Um, just because we had some variations on how people accessed the, the course materials, the bookstore had a little couple little glitches. Um, what I did is if you handed in the week one materials, by the end of week two, I gave you full credit for it. So this week, I did not take a deduction for uh, materials that were a week late. Remember, if you're more than a week late with materials, that you automatically get zeros. But a week late, you get a 50% um, cut in the, the possible grade. So um, the week number one, I didn't take a deduction for being late, but every other week I will. So Keep yourself on top of things. Don't start things too late. Don't just wait for the weekend to finish things. Um, give yourself time to do this. So the other thing, let's see, I want to talk a little bit about week two. I think week two went fine. Um, people were getting their assignments in. There definitely were a few people that were getting things in, um, doing everything on the weekends. And again, it's hard to remember a lot of information. And it's a lot of stress. And why wreck your whole weekend um, having to study and, and do this material if you don't have to? But um, And I know for some people that might be your only choice. But um, try to spread it out over time. So now we're on week three cells. And the it, it's the same routine that we've been doing. There's a lecture study guide. And I recommend printing them out and um, using your ebook and and or the lecture videos to fill that out. And remember here you have the lecture videos. It might be collapsed or you can expand it. Let me get myself over here. And you click off the videos that you've watched. So you know I would definitely recommend watching videos for the things that seem a little bit um, a little bit harder. It's but you know things like metabolism. That's a great um, that's a kind of a little challenging topic, so I would definitely watch a video for that. But you don't have to watch all these videos, but it's recommended. It might help you get through it a little bit faster and be a little more focused. So uh, write up your, fill in your lecture study guide, and then there's a lecture assignment. Remember the lecture assignments, that adaptive learning that you're doing through Connect, where it's going to ask you questions of things that you should have learned from completing this lecture study guide. So you're going to do that. Um, it's worth 10 points. And then there's a lab handout and you'll follow the lab handout. And I put all the links to the virtual labs right here in this collapse, collapsible section. And um, you can do, do those virtual labs. And then, um, and you'll get credit, you'll get points for each one of those. And you can always look in the grade sheet to see how many points am I getting for these. They're all listed there. And then there's a lab quiz. And on here it says that the lab quiz is um, has six questions for a total of three points towards your 15-point weekly lab grade, and you have 10 minutes to take the quiz. So I try to give you some information here. So do the lab quiz. The lab quiz comes right off of this handout. So the reason you want to complete this handout is to help you understand the content, but also you can use it to to complete this lab quiz. So the lab quiz is just kind of something I use to say, did you actually fill in the handout? Finally, I put a little video here that explains the, uh, gives you a little background on what it, it what our um, proctoring program is like for the semester. The proctoring program that we will be using for exams, um, I think it's just uh, lecture exams and the final exam, is called Respondus. And this video talks to you about it. And then what I do is I just put a little quiz here, and it's it's a one-point quiz. You just go in there and it says, I was able to use Respondus, yes. Um, but I highly recommend watching the video and trying the Respondus before week four, because in week four, we have exam number one, and you will need to use Respondus. So rather than take time and explain any of this, please watch the video and do the practice quiz. You can do the practice quiz as many times as you want during the semester, um, and it explains that in, in my little video that I made. So that's where you're going this week. You've got a lot on your plate, um, but week four, you're going to use 
your lecture study guides from week one, two, and three. You're going to study that material and you're going to take the first exam in week four. So that's what you're getting ready for. Good luck this week. Take care.